Five right plus in and six right continued over there. Welcome to Special Stage Extra. Now across this series, as you've probably come to expect, you're going to see the top championships, cars, drivers, teams, events that make up British club rallying. But we thought that we'd bring you a very special episode and we've given it a very special title. It's called This Is Rallying. It's a collection of things that we think makes rallying in this country so great. Enjoy. Coming up on the show today then, we have a mix of all things UK rallying. We've got onboard footage from all corners of the UK and Ireland, interviews with world rally stars, a British rally legend on the show and the UK's latest rising star. And a few other features to give you your rallying fix tonight. And we kick it all off with a look back to January when I caught up with current WRC hopefuls Chris Meek and Paul Nagel at the Autosport Show. I'm joined now on special stage by Chris Meek and Paul Nagel. Guys, an exciting looking 2015 in store. Yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, last year was my first full season in the, in the World Championship of Citroën and it's, uh, you're not long into that first year until you realise that you really need a second year at it to, you know, after you've gained that experience and really put that experience to good use. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about 2015. It's, uh, it's nice to be part of such a big effort like Citroën and um, yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Paul, first full season with Citroen, but you are no strangers to the WRC. You're probably one of the most experienced crews out there. What can we look forward to this year? Is it going to be a big fight? Are we going to be able to take the fight to Volkswagen? Well, we'll try. I mean, that's the plan. Uh, as 2014 has been a very good year. The second half has been fantastic. Uh, this year, we'll have to put more of a fight to the Volkswagens. It won't be easy. They're a very strong package. They're fantastic drivers. And, but we'll see. Second half of the season again this year, hopefully, we'll be challenging very close to them. 
Citroen were very late to announce their driver lineup. Bit of a, a nerve wracking moment for the fans, probably for you as well. But you did have the whole of the UK and Ireland behind you, and I'm sure a lot of the rest of the world as well. It must have been a really good end to the year for you to know that you were continuing that partnership. Yeah, really good. It was probably done a bit earlier than everyone imagined, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I'm, I was happy, you know, uh, e, Citroen and Eve Maton set me targets at the beginning of the year. They knew the first half of 2014 was going to be tricky for me because there was a lot of rallies I hadn't done before. But they wanted me to show my speed and consistency on the events that I was more familiar with in the second half of the year. And that's how my season unfolded. Once we hit field in round seven, you know, I really started to pick up the speed. It started to feel more simple, started to be more relaxed and feel part of the team. And that's when the results started to come. So. Yeah, my speed in Finland, Germany, Australia, Rally France, that's what really, you know, please Citroen and uh, yeah, I'm delighted that they, they give me another opportunity in 15. Paul, the speed, the consistency is there, but that, that flamboyant style so reminiscent of the McRae era is still there as well and people on Twitter get very excited about that. You've managed to rein him in a bit though. Uh, at times, <laughs> at times, sometimes it's difficult, but yeah, the flamboyant style is there and it always will be there and it's what the fans want and massive support all the year, both Ireland and the UK and it's great to see it out there and all the flags and everyone gives us great support. Guys, good luck for 2015. It's great to see you with the, another year in WRC. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we all know how important volunteers are for our sport of rallying. And we spoke to some rally volunteers at the recent Widen Rally. Here's what they had to say. Nine rounds of the top rally championship in the UK it takes a lot of putting together. And there's a lot of people behind the scenes that we never really get a chance to talk to on these events. So while I'm sitting here waiting to interview at the end of stage four on the Widen, I just took the opportunity to talk to James, Dave and Lisa. I got that all the right way around, didn't I? Who are at the stop of this stage and just talk to me about what you're doing here. Um, we are giving the crews their actual finish time so there's a beam a couple of hundred meters down the road that stops the clock we then record that on their time cards and on the check sheet we also work out the stage time for them so as they know roughly what time the other them and the other cars have done the stages in. So Lisa what you're doing is crucial to the rally isn't it without what you're doing the results wouldn't come through and no one would know what was happening. No no I'm just uh doing times, make sure they've got the right times, previous cars are fine, make sure everyone gets here. Are you all having lots of fun down here at the end of the stage? Oh yes, yes, good fun. Nice Great day. Way to be involved with rallying if you're a rally fan. Yes, yeah, much more fun than standing there watching them in the middle when you see them for a couple of seconds, at least you get to talk to the crews and find out what's going on here. Dave, you're from a local motor club? Yes, we're all from Brecon Motor Club on the finish here today. Yeah. You've got a nice sign there at the, at the finish as well, so people that pull up at this stop know exactly what you're there for. It's, it's seen quite a, out and about quite a lot during the year because we do a lot of events over the year helping out as well as organising our own. 
just as a thank you from everybody who's involved with the BTRDA for all your hard work and on behalf of the rest of the marshals as well that put all the time in. They're volunteers, these guys, but it's a great way to get into motorsport. If you do want to get out and, and meet the rally drivers, give the times, coordinate the events, there's loads of jobs that they can do. What, what other sort of jobs can you do on a rally? There's, um, oh, well, anything really from the, the marshalling and the stage, radio operators, um, you know, people the service service in, service out controls, all sorts of controls, setting up before the event, all sorts of things. It's not just about driving the cars. Cheers, guys. Into two right, in the sign, into turn, Evan right. And Evan left, 50. Two right, 80 caution. Nine right onto grid, 30. One left, 80. Long one left, 50. Two right, 120. Double caution. Five right of a crest, sharp, 20. One left and one right. Into four left continues. Into four left and nine right, no cut. Left of a crest. To three right in dip and left of a crest and flat right downhill 130. Double caution right of a crest to two left, two left in dip and flat left 120. Double caution bad dip into flat right 80. Long flat right of a crest 130 down one left 130 right and left 80. One right of a crest and pushy three. 60, flat crest, 60, left, into right of a crest, through bad dip, into long flat right bar sign, 70, grid and long one left, Ooh. continues to sign, 100, 5 right, 40, flat right of a crest, 60, left of a crest, into 2 right in dip, and long one left, continues of a crest, 50, flat right of a bump, 80, middle of a crest, 80, long crest, the long two left, continues. Join us after the break here at Special Stage Extra, when we catch up with a British rally legend, and the UK's newest rising rally star. Now we all know that the UK and Ireland have thrown up some fantastic rally talent over the years. You only have to think of names such as McRae, Burns, Meek, just to name a few. The latest works rally driver to come out of the UK is someone who we at Special Stage know very well. We've followed him throughout his career from when he started in juniors right through the ranks to his most recent coup, signing the contract with the Peugeot UK rally team. Here's what happened when I very first caught up with Chris Ingram in his junior car. Well, here we are, about to start the test stage in the Citroen C1 with Chris Ingram. Chris, going to show me what these little junior cars can do around this test stage. It's obviously not the, the most indicative um, performance tester, is it, around here with the tyres being so close, but... Yeah, it's really it's really tight, but it's a good challenge to get around on one piece without hitting anything, really. Well, we like a challenge. Let's see what it can do. These cars, of course, are based on the production models. There's very little modifications allowed. Most of them are safety modifications. But needless to say, they don't get driven like production models. These tyres really are so tight. Just watching Chris left foot break his way around these tyres. Showing us the sideways form that's given him the three wins out of three entries his last rallies. Considering this championship is for young men who cannot drive cars on the road and have got very limited experience of being behind the wheel, 
this, this kind of driving flat out on the handbrake, left foot braking and really throwing the car sideways into corners is something else It's really impressive to behold. It's quite impressive that Chris, <laughs> for someone who's, as I say, not had the experience of being able to drive on the road and get used to these cars. Yeah, well, it's pretty, pretty tough place to get wrong fast, but yeah, that was all right. Do you find that starting so young, the fear factor is not there? You're um, not worried about what can happen. You is that is well, that it? I think so. Yeah, but you're also got to worry about having an off, and then your dad having to go at you. He's got to <laughs> fix the car. <laughs> I guess that's just like Mick O'Hervin having an off and worrying about Malcolm Wilson having to go at him. Yeah, pretty much. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 200, six right. <clears throat> 100, six right continues for 150. 80, six right minus in, 130. Stay middle over crest past layby and 400 up middle. Six left, continues into middle of her bump and junction. 150. Six left and short, five right minus. And five left, three right minus. Yep, six left, five right here, short. And five left. Into three right minus, sudden hairpin left. 40. Six right, six left minus, six right, 300. Caution, long crest, late five right, continues into three right plus. Late five right continues into three right plus. Opens into four right. It's the middle over crest. And four left. Three right minus in. And six right. And five left plus. Forty. Five right in. And five left into three right minus. Coming up, we take left. a look back to when I caught up with two times British rally champion and, and a star right of my minus. childhood as well, Johnny Milner. Into three right in, Narrows. Two thousand and two and two thousand and three were classic years for British rallying, and for rally fans like me, this car that you see behind you with Johnny Milner in it was one of the iconic scenes of the British Rally Championship. Of course, Johnny won the championship those two years, and now a bit of a childhood dream. I'm getting to go out with Johnny before we catch up with him later on the stage here at Rally Day. <laughs> Joined on stage then by double British rally champion Johnny Milner. Johnny, welcome to Rally Day. Absolute pleasure, and not only that, it's great to bring the, the Corolla World Rally car that we won in 02 and 03. It's superb. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've done many a, a Goodwood Festival of Speed, uh, but it doesn't really cater for the rally enthusiast, and I think you've got such a, a blend of Group B and even before Group A, you've everything from from old through to through to the, the brand new car that Petter's driving. So, I think people can sort of appreciate the development and the way that almost the cars have been Formula Oneified. You know, everything's low and it's all you know getting their weight as low as it can and carry more corner speed. Now, going back to when you won the British Rally Championship, 02, 03, you did it at a competitive time. It was a classic era for British rallying, wasn't it, really? Do you see yourself returning to the British Rally Championship or the top of rallying here in Britain? I'd love to do. I mean, c coming from grass track racing uh, into rallycross and then into rallying, of course, you start doing single venues and then the BTRDA series and then you, you, you jump up to the national series. And, of course, the ultimate is the Premier Championship, which is the British 
and then you get in the British Championship and of course then you think, oh, maybe I could get my hands on a, on a title. I didn't get it on one, I got it on two. So it was sort of mission accomplished really. And the next generation of the Milner family are just starting to do this. I've got my, my youngest daughter, 12-year-old Katie, who was a mini Milner. Uh, she's grass tracking today, just up, just up the road off, off the M5 at a, at a British Autograph Series round, testing her new engine and uh, doing really well. So I, I've got three daughters, but I've got one that's got uh, exhaust fumes in her blood. Well, some Milners on the uh, rally stages very soon then, hopefully. Let's go back to when you started. It was a very different world then, financially, the economics were very different, but rallying itself was very different. What advice would you give to somebody now who wants to get to the level that you did and have, and doesn't have a clue where to start? I think seeing Ken Block and Petter Solberg and a lot of people, you need characters in the sport and you need to be different, you need to stand out from the rest uh, and not only be, a, be a, a funny character, you need to have the speed. Um, so I think there's a lot of luck involved, I've been extremely lucky to have Toyota, Toyota Japan back me for a lot of years and still backing me now. Um, so I, th I think you need to just network as hard as you can and never say no. I think there's a lot of people, Mark Higgins is a classic example, he won't accept no, he'll just keep pushing, pushing, pushing until he makes something happen. And that's the same for Petter, the same for Ken, it's, it's the same for everybody. It's, it's a bit of a struggle out there and I think the, the current economic climate as well, you know, there's, there's not sort of spare cash flying about, people are trying to keep their businesses alive, never mind support rally cars and, and sponsor people, but I started in a 205 diesel van as a rally car uh, from, from being luckily a British Rallycross champion back in 1990 and I know we've got Rallycross cars here today, in fact about to go out and there's, a, there's one of my sponsored cars down there, the little Lotus that's leading the, uh, the, the modified class this year with Ash Simpson. But I think <laughs> you need to move with the times and I think you just need to be cheeky, you need to get out there and put yourself about and, and be noticed and be different. Thanks for joining us Johnny here at Rally Day and on the Special Stays TV show and um, Johnny Milner, everybody, is a blooming nice bloke and uh, he's around if you want to get some autographs or speak to him about his rally career. And a Yorkshireman. <laughs> As am I. Four, three, two, one, go. 43 left opens, don't cut. 45 left plus, don't cut. 45 right, don't cut. 80, turn 6 right, care, don't cut. 150, go on. Flat over jump, 150, 1 left flat. 60, 3 right, don't cut. 100, care, turn 6 left over bump, narrows. Repeat, 6 left over bump, but the arrows. 60, 4 left, tightens over crest, don't cut, slippy, One, oh. fit, 4 left, 150, 3 left, don't cut over bump, 40 hairpin right. And middle through crossroads, 250, flat up middle, 2 right, don't cut. 40 turn tight, square left over bump. Repeat, 2 right, 40 square left. Well, I hope you enjoyed our look at what is so great about rallying in the UK. Our show entitled, of course, This is Rallying. Next time on Special Stage Extra, you can catch more of the top action from the top championships, cars, drivers, teams and events in UK rallying. See you then. Thanks for watching Special Stage. Five right plus in and six right continued over there.